Right, now in a bit of a, a change from the usual procedure, uh, I've decided that uh, we're going to give all the third party figures tech specs of their own. Now this guy actually comes with a profile card with all his numbers on it. Uh, but we're going to evaluate this in a, a special manner that is reserved for non-Hasbro products. Um, so we're going to give him marks out of 10 for 8 different criterion. Build quality, design, design. transformation, Oh, mouse. Accuracy. Blatantness. Accessories. And... Paperwork. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we'll decide what he earns uh, for each in a moment. I'll just grab one of the uh, tech spec cards. I managed not to bring grind rods with me because I'm a Berk. So I'm going to hand over to my faithful counterman and occasional contributor, Carl, for a moment. And grab this. So here we go, there's Aurora, uh, TW04, uh, in between Aurora and uh, Grindrod, they made Hardbone, they fantastically named... Uh, Hardbone? Hard Seriously? Yes, he's called Hardbone, and that's uh, Hardhead from the Headmasters, uh, he's a very nicely designed figure, quite expensive. And a slightly and unfortunate name. Yep. And there's the instructions for Aurora, it's a full CD render. It's uh, quite well done. It's probably the same render they used when they were designing the mould. Um, looks like it, actually. And then you can see where the weapon stores. It highlights all the pieces and where they have to go. It's, it's a pretty good set of instructions, I think. It's pretty clear and readable, actually. Yeah, despite it all being in Japanese. There we are. So, yeah, oh, oh, I forgot to mention he's got tech specs on the back as well. There you go. I assume they're in the same order as the Transformers version. Um, I noticed that these guys have oops, experienced a certain amount of power creep uh, because they're a new version, they're slightly more powerful than the one before. Well, yeah, that's, you know, I mean, that's, that, that's like the official toys as well. You just, you just keep getting stronger and tougher and faster. Yeah, but, uh, yeah Grindrod has had another couple of points added to a lot of his stats. So, lucky old him, I suppose. Anyway, I'll take this back now. I'll try and figure out what this guy merits. So, build quality. What do you think, Carl? He's, he, you know, he's actually a very, very, you know, you know, very well put, you know, put together, you know, put together toy. I mean, he feel, he feels very, very solid in your hands. He, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't feel delicate at all. No, uh, no, I agree. He's, he's, he's extremely tough. Yeah. And uh, I would give him a solid ten. Uh, thank you for build quality. Yeah, I would agree. This yeah. is, uh, this is the standard to which all third-party vehicles should aspire. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. There we go. And design. How how it's put together, how it how it moves, articulation, uh, detailing. He's he is he is actually a very very well a well articulated toy. Um, mm -hmm. And we've talked elbows, shoulders. Um, he's got, he's got uh, knees. He's got knee joints in there. Yep. If, so if he wants to sit down, yes. he stands up quite well in a variety of poses. Yes. He's well weighted. Yes. He's um, got uh, rotation at the mid thigh and bicep. Right. I didn't realise that. Yes. Yeah. He's okay. very clever. Okay. Uh, the mid thigh rotation I don't think is required for the transformation, nor is the waist, but they're there anyway, which I appreciate. Yes. Yeah. Non non essential joints are always good. Mm -hmm. My only criticism, and it's a minor criticism is that the way the gun is designed and the way his uh, his arm, oh pardon me, his arm goes, uh, you can't quite hold his gun straight ah. because the uh, the back window actually gets in the way. Right. Which is a shame. It's, yeah. it's a minor thing, but to me that just knocks a point off design, so I'm going to give him a nine. Yeah, I think, I think I would, would concur with that. He's All not, right. he's not, qu he's not quite perfect, but he's very, very good. Alright. Transformation. Transformation. He's more com more complicated than you know, you know than than the, than the fact that he's a throttle bar would first make you think. But then, but for tying your shoelaces is more complicated than a throttle bar. Yeah, uh, he, he is a he's a much harder block to get from one mode to another than a throttle bar. He's a I'd say he's a slightly harder than an average generations or universe deluxe, uh, especially pulling the legs out. Uh, at the start to get the transformation started is a bit nerve wracking when you don't when it's a, a new toy from maybe from a company you haven't bought from before and you're a bit nervous. I was very nervous. Yeah. Well, you know, or, you know I was going to say, or if it's someone else's. Oh, yeah. If it's someone else's 
die from a new company. The, yeah, yeah, the first time is. Mm, um, oh. Other other than that, once you actually work out the out the logic of of, of what you, of, of of what you're doing, mm -hmm. it actually does make a lot of sense. Uh, so it's it's a very sensible transformation. Uh, there's nothing that's counter really counterintuitive. That's fair. All right. Uh, yeah, it's it's intuitive, but it is a bit nerve wracking to start with. I'd say transformation he gets an eight. I you know, I'd be willing to go okay. you know, go with an eight. Yeah. All right. You know, so, so you know, I'm thinking seven point five, but round round up to an eight. All right. There we go. You're doing well. Pretty, you're doing pretty well so far, Grindrod. Congratulations. Uh, alt mode. His alt mode is a Jeep Wrangler. It's a Jeep, <laughs> it is a Jeep Wrangler, yes. Um, it's um, you know, it's not even pretending to be vaguely like a Jeep Wrangler. It's it's a Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, short of, short of uh, having a badge slapped on it saying Jeep, but there's nothing else they could do to to make it like one. Yes, and I think if they put that badge on there, uh, they would get sued in the same way that Hasbro was for Sideburn, Robots in Disguise. They mm, wind up yes. having to pay Dodge quite a lot of money for the Dodge Viper badge. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They they won't make that mistake again, and neither did Toy World. So they learned a lesson. So, is it a good Jeep Wrangler? I I would say so. Say so. Yes. Um, uh, it's. You know, you, you look at it, and you, you know, you know what you know what you're looking at. It's also interesting to look at. You know, you know, it's, it's an interesting pie as well because it's got the running axles. Um, yeah, so that's it. All right, alt mode. Ten. I'd say that. Yeah, ten. 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 All right. Uh, I'd give it a nine, just just because of the windscreen. <laughs> it doesn't have the desert no. landscape on the windscreen. There okay, we go. So yeah, we compromise no, and call no. it nine point five. The compromise actually compromise and call it a nine. I think. Right. I think. Yeah, you're right. It's not. It's not got that character piece. Let's get that to out of there before the glare blinds us all. All right. Up mode is a nine. Accuracy. How close is this to the character roll bar? Now that depends on whether you're talking about the character or you know, or the original toy. I'd say we're thinking character. Right. And character yeah. or media appearances. Yeah. Rather than the original toy. I mean, it's obviously going to be very different from the original toy if it's a if it's a unique yeah. unique mold. Yeah. Yeah. So. <sighs> it look, it, I I would I would say it's it's very close. Um, it's got it's got that kind of stereo you know, stereo you know, typical ruggedness to it. Yeah, he's very he's very sturdy. He's got a lot more colour to him than uh, than Rollbar's original animation model, which I think was just green. Yes, yeah. A lot more going on. So accuracy, I don't. Th other than the head, I don't think accuracy is really there or what they were going for. They were really trying to make a good car robot. Yes. Yeah. With a face that looked yeah. like uh, Rollbar, I yeah. would say. So accuracy, I'd say, is about. Uh, more greater than average because of the the excellent face sculpt. The, the the sculpting on the face really is good. It, it is, yeah. So it's, I'd give him a to it. I'd give him a six. Yeah, I no, I would I would agree with that. Yep, I would definitely go with that. Okay, blatantness. How blatantly is this a rip off of a Hasbro character? <coughs> now it is a unique vehicle. It is a unique vehicle. And it turns into a robot that is very different from yes from robot. I mean, other on the on the other hand, they're, they're obviously channeling that with the with the way with the way some some of the some of the windscreen and roof folds up to make that hood behind the head. Yeah, uh, which is kind of a very distinctive throttle body feature. Hmm. On the other hand, there's only so many places for it to go. Yeah. Um, Although you could you you could have could have folded it down behind. This is true. And you and you know, gone for a cleaner look. This is true. All right. Shall we say five for blatantness? Because they have they have gone to they, quite. They've got they've gone they've gone a fair distance away. away yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we know who it is because we are familiar with the Throttlebots. You know, we read what was the Scraplet story called in the old Marvel comic. It was called the old Scraplet story in the old, old Marvel, Marvel comic. comic. Yep. Yeah, it's. We we know who the Throttlebots are from from a childhood reading Marvel comics. If yeah. you weren't immediately familiar with them, you would look at that and just say, "Oh, it's a robot that turns into a car." And you know, and let's face it, I, you know, I've I've seen I've seen their seen their brief brief appearance in you know, appearance in in both both the American and Japanese cartoons far more times than anybody actually should. So. Oh. 
All right, so we say we say five for five. blatantness. Yeah, five. Right. That's a that's a pretty good score, I think, for blatantness. All right. Accessories. He comes with a gun. Yeah. A gun that he can't quite hold straight. Yes. It's a lovely design gun, but it doesn't interact well with the figure, a, which is yeah. a shame. It also has the disadvantage of looking a lot like a gun with a wheel stuck on it. Hmm. All right. Well, he does have an accessory, which is more than some characters that we're going to look at. Mm -hmm. uh, so, all right. I say we give him. Say we give him a four for the yeah. accessories. It's a, just a, a, a four and a and a and a and a, and a, 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 a sort of, you know, sort of a th you know, thanks for at least trying. Uh. <laughs> That's fair. Paperwork. He's got his profile card with his tech specs on it. He's got a full set of instructions. Uh, there's no storyline that I'm aware of, so there's no attempt to say this is a, a new character. Mm. Uh, it's, it's not bad. It's yeah. I mean, it's going going slightly over the minimum that you know that you'd want. I mean, the minimum you would want would be his instructions. Hmm. Um, I think you know the fact that the fact he's got a character card card as well. It's it's slightly over the, over the minimum. Uh, Alrighty. All right. So paperwork. We say four. Four again. I think yes. All right. So there we go. It's, uh, he's got it where it counts, but uh, slightly disappointing follow through. TW02 grind rod. And just for good measure, just a sec. Uh, hand it over to Carl for a second. There we are. Let's get a size comparison in for anyone thinking about buying one. Uh, I should mention that, there we are, he's about the size of a, a Universe or Generations Deluxe figure, well, from a couple of years ago. Maybe the modern ones are a bit smaller. Uh, but he's he's about the same size as the the classic yeah. jet. That looks about right. Yeah, he's yeah he's just about just about an eye level. Yeah. level really. I've got to say when I put him in my generations and universe display, he did not look out of place. No, they, you know they do like look, look like they belong next to each other. Uh, yes. Yeah, the aesthetic is pretty clear. I like him. He's he retails for about sixty dollars, um, which is uh, about about the price of a Botcon toy, really, of about the same size. Yeah, I, I hadn't looked at it that, that, you know, that way actually. Uh, yeah, it's, he, he, seem, he seems slightly more more, re more more reasonable when you when you kind of <laughs> when, you, when you kind of measure him up against you know yeah. against the Botcon. And considering what your average toy from Takara costs now, with the the over overvaluing of the yen, um, it's it doesn't seem so unreasonable. I mean, uh, Toy World is a Japanese company, but these I think are made in China. Um, and of course, China currency guaranteed slightly undervalued. Yeah, it's, well, it's not <laughs> so going anywhere in a hurry. No, and uh, I think the Chinese government are quite happy about that. Well, we're not here to talk about politics. We're here to talk about toy robots. It's, he's, he's not bad value, actually, for, you know, for what he is. Hmm. He comes in a nice display box that's very, very reminiscent of the alternators. Yes, um, and, yeah, and also quite you know, quite, for, quite reminiscent. Uh, I, th I thought of the alternator. Uh, boxes as well. Yeah, that's fair. He is all plastic. Uh, there's a lot of pins uh, that I think I tried to count up and I think there's about 21 places where pins have been used to hold plastic parts together. So uh, I really can't stress enough how well built this guy is. Um, yeah, I mean, he, he, do, he you know, does... I, do, I don't fancy him or anything, but uh, he's, it's, a, it's a well put together toy. Yeah, I mean, he, he, do, he does feel it when, you know, when, you know, when, he's, when, he's, in, when he's in hand. Um, he's, he doesn't f he doesn't feel fragile, uh, but you know by you know, by any means. Uh, he actually feels quite chunky and hefty, you know, yes. for his size. Should point out, Carl doesn't fancy him either, but it is a good toy and worth picking up if you like this sort of thing. Thanks for watching.